Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is where you're at. Who wants to take a ride with Scrapping with Grandpa this morning? That was a question. You're supposed to answer that in the box below. Just kidding. I got a call yesterday, or take that back. I mentioned in the video that I saw a gentleman at the gas station uh, and uh, told him that I was collecting scrap metal, and he said, I got a spot for you. So I'm heading out there to pick up some scrap metal today. I got up this morning, did my shower and shave. What do you think, Paul? I shaved, cut my hair, looking good, ain't I? That's what Scrap and Grandpa supposed to look like. Clean, shaved, nice haircut. Did it myself. You wouldn't believe it, but I did. Look how good I did. All by myself, just looking in the mirror. Didn't cost me anything. Anyways, hope everybody's having a wonderful day, and let's go get some scrap metal. I'm kind of excited. Most of this stuff is heavy steel. So some of it, I'll be throwing in my trailer, not going in my yard, because you know what's coming to my yard soon. A building, and we're not going to trash it up. But the heavy steel, I do have a spot for that. No sense of bringing in that heavy steel for no money. And right now, they're not paying any money for heavy steel. I think I might, if I got lucky, get maybe seven cents. And for heavy steel, I know I can get 15. So I'm gonna hang on to my heavy steel since it doesn't take up that much space. And uh, bring it in when the prices go up. So Southern Metal Recycling. I can't wait for your prices to get up so I can bring some heavy steel. I have a bunch of it building up, man. Let's get them prices up. I know it's not your fault. It's just the way this crazy world is going today, but Anyways, I'm talking to you, Southern Metal Recycling, my favorite place in the world to bring my scrap metal. Let's take a ride out here to win a bow, Winnie Bow, and get some scrap metal. Hopefully we can make a video of it. I'll see you when we get there. I do have a question for all my scrapper friends, male and female. I hope these windows aren't making too much noise with windows down. Um, what are you getting paid for your shred appliance, metal, light steel, stuff like that um, at your scrap yard? Right now, I went in just yesterday and for light steel I only got six cents a pound. The most I've gotten in the last two weeks is seven. But I did have some heavier steel in there, not just light steel. So, uh, answer the question down below, please. What are you getting at your scrap yard for light steel? What are you getting for rims? So, rims from tires, aluminum rims I'm talking about. And what are your number one and number two copper prices right now in your area? So, if everybody is willing, please leave a comment down below. Somewhere down there, there's a comment box. Leave a comment down below and just tell me what you're getting. Where do you live? What state are you in, I should say? Uh, maybe even what town you live in or county. And how much are you getting at your place for your shred metal? And then how much are you getting for old sheet? Old sheet right now. I know what I was getting. It's not what I, it's not what it was, let me tell you. So what are you getting for old sheet, aluminum? What are you getting for aluminum rims? Um, what are you getting for extrusion? How big is another question. How big is your um, aluminum have to be before they'll pay you extrusion prices? Extrusion, extrusion, call it what you want to. I can barely spell the word. But I just want to know, uh, does it have to be quarter inch thick? Can it be anything, anything that's extruded? Uh-oh, I almost missed my turn. Winnie Boat. This is Old Mill Creek.
Creek Road. A little honey hole stop that I got down here. Just happened to run across them at the gas station. So the Lord is looking out for me. Scrap old grandpa's got the Lord on his side. The Lord says, Scrap old grandpa, I got something for you. I said, What is it, Lord? Scrap metal. I was like, Scrap metal. Now you got my ears perking. I'm interested. Where can we get that stuff? Next thing you know, somebody comes up to me and says, Hey, dude, you collect scrap metal. I got a pile of it for you. Good Lord spoke back to me. He said, Go get it, man. Go get it. Anyways, just having fun. It's a beautiful day. It's Friday already. Oh, yeah, guess what I'm doing tonight? I'm going to school my wife. Wait a minute, is it tonight? No, it's not tonight. I think we're going to do it Sunday during the day. We're going bowling. My wife and I used to be on a league. And we played what you call no tap. Have, that's another question for you. Has anybody uh, gone bowling? Does anybody like bowling? And have you ever heard of no tap? Nine pin no tap. And do you know what that means? If you don't know what it means, I'll tell you in the comments below. But I want to hear, does anybody like bowling? I love it. My wife loves it. <clears throat> we were on a league and it was called just a game because, trust me, when you're bowling, there's some serious people out there. They're like, they're serious, boy. They're going to win, you know, and, and they get real serious about the bowling. No, I'm not asking you to call anybody. I'm not asking you to call anybody. My phone's... Nobody. I don't want to call anybody, Siri. Okay. <laughs> that is hilarious. I love it when my phone starts talking to me when I'm not talking to her. <clears throat> but anyway, no tap. People get really serious out there bowling, man. And um, you tell me if you've ever heard of nine pin no tap bowling. I am a bowler. I love to bowl. It's something fun that I like to do with my wife. We don't do it enough. We used to be on a league and we did it once a week, every Wednesday night. But the problem with that is it's all the way in Wilmington. I wish they'd get a bowling alley near me. But this place is all the way in Wilmington, which is about, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes, 40 minutes maybe one way uh, to the bowling alley. And we did the 715 bowling league. And by the time we got finished three games, um, it was uh, 9 30 10 o'clock we're on our way home so uh, on uh, highway 133 which is the road we take going back home from Wilmington a lot of deer at night time and damn, I've never hit a deer and let me tell you something I don't want to hit a deer so uh, we uh, at the end of that one league uh, year we just never never went back because it was so daggum dangerous driving at night time and I was working a full-time job, 40 hours a week. My wife was working a full-time job, 40 hours a week. And it just got to be too much. So now that she is retired, 34 years in a post office, everybody. My wife worked for the postal service for 34 years. Who, who out there, that's another question I'd like to propose to everybody. Who has had a job at the same place for 34 years or plus. Not many people work for the same place for 34 years. All right, so I'm at my place. Answer that comment down below. And where do you work? If you work, are you retired? How old are you? Where do you live? I got a bunch of questions for everybody. I'm just a question guy. I like to know the answers. So if you want to answer my questions, I would love to hear from you. Anyways, we got a truck coming. I think it might be the guy that I know. So let me see what's going on here and shut this camera off and we'll turn it back on when we get there. Have you ever pulled up to a place and you thought to yourself, I might be getting ready to hear some banjos. I'm here, I hear music. It's not banjos. Could be a little scary out here. I'm talking about we out in the woods. Keep your eyes open for me. I don't want to be running into 
Burt Reynolds anywhere out here. Anybody remember that movie with Burt Reynolds in it? A little scary. Banjos everywhere. I hear dogs barking. Alright, let's do this. About got hair standing up on my back. They are standing up on my arms. Good God. Okay. Here goes nothing. But, I told you. I told you. I'm a little worried. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. You can't hear the music in the background because YouTube does not like music in their videos. Fortunately, the dogs are on chains, so I'm not quite as scared of them as if I would be if they weren't on chains. So I'm going to start picking up scrap metal. See this right here? I'm pretty sure I get heavy steel for that. I almost want to put anything that has heavy steel in the back of my truck. Hopefully. He told me I could have all of it. Air conditioners, broken down grills, old lawnmower, and I called left-handed Paul, asked him if he felt like getting out of the house today, and he said no which is uh, sometimes normal with Paul. He just doesn't like getting out all the time. He said his back was hurting, all that kind of good stuff. So it is what it is. I'm going to handle this on my own. And uh, yeah, here we go. Scrapping with Grandpa, picking up. Goodness, look at it. It's everywhere. I mean, there's goodness everywhere. This is what I call a honey hole. Lord, yes. Look at there. Got some nice aluminum. I love aluminum. Goodness gracious, nice aluminum too. Quarter inch thick. He said take it. There's a battery over there. Old beat up jack. What they used to start the charcoal with. That's a beast. At least the motor's off of it. But we do have another whole motor right here. That looks like the motor that came off of it. Not only am I scared of snakes, but I don't like spiders either. I'm scared of spiders. Are you scared of spiders? I want everybody to tell me who is scared of spiders. Grandpa, I ain't gonna lie. So I got my yeehaw gloves on, a little mismatched, but um, they'll work. Let's get this party started. I'm wondering if that's an aluminum, no, that's just a bicycle tire. I thought it was a big old aluminum rim. I'm gonna take and separate my my goodness right here into the back of my truck because as you know aluminum's down and as Jimbo Scrapper, buddy of mine, said his yard don't hardly pay anything for aluminum. So I'm hoping, uh oh, hoping I don't get poison ivy is what I'm hoping. Or spiders, I see them everywhere. Spiders ever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, got a little mud on my tires. Just a little bit of tires. You can call it what you want, tires, tires. Shred metal. Goodness gracious, look at it. Goodness, goodness everywhere. Like I said, left-handed Paul didn't feel like getting out today, so. I, I called him though. I said, Paul, you feel like getting out of the day? Nah, I don't really feel like getting out of the day. I said, come on, man. You ain't done nothing all week. Today's Friday. You ain't done nothing. I mean, nothing. You sure you don't want to get out? Come on. Nah, I don't feel like it. I said, all right, Lefty, you're going to miss out. Because I'm going out to my little hot dog that I ran into yesterday. I'm pretty sure this is an aluminum chair. I'll have to break that down. That goes in the back of the truck. Alumin aluminumness. Goodness. Aluminumness. Goodness. Get it, baby. Get it. 
old faithful trailer. Thank goodness I got that. Let's see what kind of goodness we can find around here. Watch out for the spideys. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Watch out for that Spider-Man again. I do not want to bring Spider-Man back with me. Whew, I need a weed eater. We got a, got a lawnmower battery. Uh oh, look at that nugget. Oh. Is that a copper nugget? Boy, that looks like a copper nugget. That's a copper nugget. We like copper. Copper, copper. Copper nuggets. Battery. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious, look at it all. I'm gonna put the tailgate down. Drop my little nugget here and back and put my tailgate down. Fortunately, my trailer has long enough tongue where I can drop it down and it doesn't hit my post. Gosh, I hate that when it happens. Hopefully the dogs will quiet down a little bit when I'm here for a while. Except for that one out back, he doesn't seem to be wanting to quiet down too much. Okay, he said grab it. If it's made of steel, it's yours. If it's made of plastic, I don't want it. Oh yeah, let's make sure this thing doesn't work before I take it. Oh yeah, she's locked up, it doesn't work. It's garbage, but might be also considered heavy steel. Hmm, that's a maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Oh boy. You know what this thing's gonna be like trying to load that into that trailer? By grandpa's self? Mower deck? Look at this. Oh my god, that mower deck is gone. Lord have mercy. Make sure there ain't no friendly snakes under there. Or even not so friendly snakes. <laughs> Help! No Spider-Man. I do not want to deal with a Spider-Man today. It's coming with me. Yes, sir, that's coming with me. It's always nice to have um, a little bit of help once in a while, but left-handed Paul has not came out to help me one time this week and I think I know why today is the first Paul gets his paycheck today so he's like uh uh I ain't going anywhere I'm waiting for my paycheck he also gets a paycheck in the mail well I shouldn't say also because I don't get one in the mail okay yeah so I'm gonna figure this out on my own we got down here besides spiders and snakes gosh i'm a little bit scared i ain't lying i'm not gonna lie it looks like a starter motor which means there's probably some copper in there maybe even some aluminum goodness yeah, it might take me a little while to gather up all this goodness and get it in my truck but i ain't got nothing but time I, mean, I ain't got nothing but time. What, what do you guys got? Nothing but time, right? Nothing but time. Look at this goodness right here. The thing about that is I don't want to get these in until last because I'm going to take them out. Tear them bad boys down. So we'll try for them last. Hey, gummit, why didn't I bring my weed eater? Some of these things look heavy. Goodness gracious. I mean, scrap my grandpa's 60 years old, man. I'm starting to feel the, oops. I'm starting to feel my age. Oh yeah, I'm starting to feel my age. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, that one hurt. Ow, hit me right in the kneecap. Hit me right in the kneecap, all right, look at that. Goodness, right there. Yeah, big old aluminum block. I do have my handy dandy appliance dolly over there that would probably help on some of this stuff but i think i'm just gonna try to use my brute strength my brute strength and just do it oh a little bit of oil coming out of this thing a little bit of oil coming out of it that might help out my trailer a little bit maybe who knows all right grandpa what do you think <clears throat> if 
find something to get a hold of. Oh, yes! Ooh. Goodness, right there. Uh-oh. Just saw a mosquito, scared me. Thought I had a big old, oh, what is that? That's a cricket. Picked up a bunch of crickets. Oh, sorry, dude, I messed you up. I just got a truckload of crickets. I'm gonna go fishing. I'm gonna go fishing now, I got crickets. Uh-oh, what is this? What is that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, baby, that's red brass. I know what red brass looks like. Look at that frog spit. Got frog spit on it. Hopefully ain't no frog gonna jump out on me. <coughs> Not that I'm scared of a frog, but I don't want one jumping on me. I'm scared of crap out of Grandpa. All right, a little at a time, a little at a time. Nuggets of goodness everywhere. That's a dipstick. What we got here? Oh my word. Not even sure what that plastic pipe is, but oh boy. Got a little bit of stuff wrapped up. Oh, come on, baby. Don't you want to come with me? I know you do. Look at that. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Oh, spider. I'm pretty sure I just saw a spider man. Or something else. I don't know. Oh, roly poly. Who knows? Everybody knows what roly polies are. This thing. This thing's a beast. I call this heavy steel, people. Let's look for Spider Man. Make sure he's not on here. I'm not carrying Spider Man back with me. They're heavy steel. Everybody knows Grandpa's saving. Yeah. All of my heavy steel for later. And my aluminum. And my copper. Man, it is muggy today. Dang, I think today is the first. What's the date today? Hey Siri, what's the date today? It's Friday, September 2nd, 2022. September 2nd. My anniversary is on the 13th, everybody. 23 years. Gotta love it. 23 years. All right. I'm doing this slowly because I know Spider-Man's out here. And I'm a little scared of Spider-Man. Got here, old beat up bike. Looks aluminum. But I'll probably just go ahead and throw it in there like it is, grass and all. And just let it go with my shred today. Or well, whenever I get to bring it in. I think, I think I should probably get my, um, oh yeah. Whew. I think I should get my little dolly now look at there find another nugget copper and brass Put that in the back of the truck i'm hoping that uh youtube can't hear that music playing in the background across the street they're getting a little loud over there who do you think they are okay all right hopefully that spider didn't climb up on this thing Whew. I also got some nuggets to get off of there like copper. And I already got the battery, so. Oh my goodness. I hate it when you gotta grab a hold of something and you can't see what you're grabbing a hold of. But unfortunately. Well, I need a seat. That might be a better seat than what I have. I do not know, Sam, I am, so Sears model. All right. All right, spiders, go away. Let's see if I can get this thing over there. Oh, this thing is a beast. And it, it is going with me somehow or another. I'm just not sure how yet. Oh, hopefully I'm, that spider's not crawling up my pant leg. I might have to put my socks over my pants. I'm gonna get this thing, even by myself. This crap my grandpa ain't no chump. Maybe, maybe the wheels are locked up because of this, I don't know. Help. It says, pull out for riding. Push in for, ooh, let's see, push in. Let's see if that helped. Nope, that didn't help. Try it the other way. That didn't help either. Dang, gun it. 
Hi right, there, buddy. I'm scared to death I'm gonna get eaten by a spider. I just can't leave it behind. That's a beast. Not as strong as I used to be. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm 60. I remember when I used to hang out with my buddy, Danny Burgo. Danny, oh, look at that. That's another spider. Danny. Danny Burgo, my old main friend. Uh oh. Okay. Hiya. Hiya. A little bit at a time. Danny Burgo, you watching? I used to be strong as an ox, buddy. I ain't so strong as I used to be. My muscles are smaller. Almost everything's smaller. Well, like I said, almost. <laughs> almost everything's smaller. Oh boy, this thing is. Um, just not sure how I'm gonna do it. Should have brought my wimps. Goodness gracious, how am I gonna get that thing on there? <sighs> that thing is a beast. Paul and I loaded two lawnmowers on my trailer and brought them straight into the scrapyard because we didn't really want to have them on my trailer and they were junk. And uh, we weighed out at 800 pounds. That was with the motors on both of them. This one does not have the motor on it, but shoot, I'm sure. Hope you guys are getting this view because uh, whew, Grandpa is working for his money today. Hard thing I'm gonna try to figure out is them back tires won't roll. Is this thing in neutral? I didn't even check that. It appears to be in neutral. If there is any such thing, I don't know. Let's see here. Gotta find a way to get this thing into neutral. Ooh, ooh. Oh, was that neutral? Don't tell me that was neutral. When I'm back wheels turn now. Oh, nope. Dang it. I'm going to have you. I'm just not sure how I'm going to have you. You can't, you can't stay here. Like I say, sometimes it is better to have somebody with you. With a little bit of strength. Because it gets something like this. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, stay there. Don't move. Watch, when I step up in my truck, it's gonna fall. And I'm gonna be like, damn it. Hey, it didn't fall. All right. That might give me a little leverage. Huh. Oh. Scrap my grandpa, I ain't gonna let anything stay behind. All right. All right, everybody, look at that. I got the front end. My God, if I can get the front. I hopefully, I can get the back now that I got it this far. I might have to uh, get my dolly under there. Let me try that. I'll put my dolly right there and jack the back of that thing up somewhat. All right, appliance dolly. I might need your help. First, I'm going to see if I can do it. I'm just having my doubts right now. Whew. Boy, I sure am glad I ate my Wheaties this morning. This thing will kick me. I'm behind seats in my way too oh man that is a beast all right dolly dolly wood here yeah, we can get some help from dolly <clears throat> not sure never quite done this before let's we'll see i'm on dolly i need help let's see what we got come on big boy Get up there. Get up there. I know you want to. A little at a time. Of course, as soon as I drag that bad boy, it's gonna fall right off. Uh-oh. That is my max. Oh, goodness gracious. Maybe I can stand up on Dolly and that thing's flying around my head, scaring me. All right, guys, what do you think? Scrap from Grandpa, get that thing in there. Gosh, without killing myself, I am standing up on. Oh, <laughs> no, I can't. Man, I should have brought my come along. 
what is another way to get this beast on here? That thing is heavy, man. Whew, can't spend too much time on one thing. I won't get anything done. I'm gonna try to pull it one more time. See if I can get that thing to balance a little bit better. All right, everybody. This crap on grandpa don't give up very easily. Yeah, that didn't help. That didn't help. Okay. All right. Maybe I do need Spider-Man. I need some strength. I need something stronger than me. I did get it up there a little further though. Huh. Just maybe I need to do it twice. What do you think? I should have brought my come along. I had to come along. I'll push this thing right up there. All right, baby. Let's try that again. Whatever it takes, right? Get up there. Don't tell me I'm a wussy. I will try, try again. Oh, man, I wish that thing would go up about another foot. I sure would help a bit. It's almost too heavy for me. I can lift one side, just can't lift the other. Paul, he is a great help when he's around, let me tell you. Oh, come on, don't, don't you fall off of there yet. Oh, don't do it. You gotta go with me, damn it. I don't give up easy, but uh, sometimes you just gotta give up. I don't have anything to grab a hold of here. Maybe this side. I ain't gonna get it. I ain't gonna get it. Come on. Nope. Son of a biscuit. Damn it. I'm gonna have to wait for help on that one. I tried. Can't say I didn't try. A lot heavier than I am. Boy, things are heavy. That rear end ain't no joke. Huh. Well, I can steer it. Rum, rum, rum. Man, I need a. Where is my come along? I got ramps on this thing. That might help. Ramps aren't quite wide enough, though. I'm going to spend all my time just on this. Trying to get this thing up there. Come on, baby. I want you so bad I can't stand it. Oh, come on, don't go back. Let's go front with it. Oh, you won't do it, will you? Oh, why? Why me? Nothing lower I can get a hold of. All right. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get it. Killing me. What's holding me up? That big plate right there is stopping me. I wonder. Oh, I have another idea. All right. I got one more idea, guys. I'm gonna try something else. Since I got the front end up, maybe I'll pull it back a little bit, get my dolly under the whole thing. What do you think? Is it worth it? It's gotta be worth it. I'm gonna get my dolly under that thing. Let me try that one more time. I can't, I just can't see. I'm not getting that thing. Oh, I wish my buddy was here. Paul right now, but he's not. Oh. Maybe. All right. Another try here. Like I say, Scrap on Grandpa doesn't give up that easy. I wish I was as strong as this dolly. I'd have that thing in there in just a minute. But I'm not. If I can just get the back end past that one spot, that would help me out a ton. It would even help me out more if that seat wasn't in my way. All right, everybody, check it out. I got it in there, man. I had to, the camera got so hot. Didn't get as hot as me, I'm sure. I don't know why I didn't shut down, but it shut down. I had to have help getting this thing in here. The guy that owns this place and 
gave me all this goodness showed up to help me showed up to help me thank god because that thing i think that thing weighed more than the daggum lawnmower did but uh we got this goodness loaded and uh that was a honey hole right there and he gave me another honey hole right down the street he got some car heavy car parts and stuff that he gave me so he said he's gonna since he's here he's gonna go ahead and give me a hand getting it in my truck and trust me you don't even know how much i appreciate that because i had to take like my camera a couple breaks because i got hot over overheated and my legs didn't want to work anymore daggum if you a nurse or know anybody that has peripheral arterial disease that grandpa has you'll know how much of a struggle walking can be so yeah i struggle walking i can't walk any long distances and that's pretty much why why i quit um doing my roofing business because i just couldn't walk anymore but i am uh, able to do an estimate you know i'd i'll have bring somebody with me and let them climb up on the roof while i stand down there and talk to the customer i like to be the people i'm a people person so i get more business because i'm a people person than i do being anything else so it always helps to be a people person and like I said, this guy showed up and gave me some more goodness right down the street. And he helped me load a couple of these heavy items that I was having difficult loading myself. Thank goodness he showed up. I never got him in there. Let me get out here. I might just leave my truck running. Get my gloves back on. I got help here. This is the guy that gave me this stuff. Let me mount this camera to my head here. I had to let it cool down. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. I don't mean to be bouncing y'all around. Maybe I'll delete that. Maybe I won't. Let me get my handy-dandy gloves on. And uh, this guy came over and said, Hey, I'm going to help you out. I was like, man, you don't even know how much I appreciate this. And he gave me this stuff anyway. But them air conditions right there have Freon in them, so I'm not going to... I'm not even bringing them to my house to tear them apart. Look at this goodness. Look at the goodness. Look at that. Goodness gracious. I just love it. One thing I will put aside and save is my aluminum because I'm not bringing my aluminum in for nothing a pound right now. When uh, aluminum prices were up, I was getting from, I was getting 55 cents a pound for uh, old sheet. Wow. I was getting 95 cents a pound for small extrusion like this. And now it's gone down to half. So I'm going to wait till the prices go up again. Before I give that away. You know what? I'm going to put my heavy steel right here in the back because um, okay. so back. when I get to the house, I can just unload it. Go ahead and open this gate. Yep. Just, yeah, just right there because when I get to the house, I'll take it out. Right. And it'll be right in the back and I can just back right up to it. And mostly what's here is heavy steel, heavy steel my friend. <laughs> Look at that. That's a tranny. How that thing's light. Yeah. I get that thing. I can get that. Oh yeah, it's not light, but it's light. It's light enough for grandpa. As long as I don't have to make too many trips with it. Hiya! Hiya! You hear that? Hiya! I got it. Boy, that clutch was wore out, huh? Mm -hmm. See that thing? No, yeah, that's bad. Good God. That thing wasn't moving another inch. Look at this goodness. This looks like, oh man, that's a nice piece of aluminum right there. I love it. I love it. I won't be throwing that away. Right in the back of my truck. Right in the back of my truck. Oh, heck yeah. Keep all the goodness. Goodness everywhere. Whoo! Love it. Scrapping with Grandpa, picking up goodness. That's what I love. My, um, that's sweetness right there. 
my camera. Hey, gummit, got hotter than me. He quit on me earlier. So I lost a little bit of footage. I lost a little bit of footage, but that's all right. We'll make up for it on the long run. One way or the other. Oh yeah, heavy stuff. Oh, that thing got a hold of my shirt. Tried to get me. Oh yeah, man. Oh, oh that's beautiful. I throw that right in my back of my truck, brother. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Look at that. A nice little starter. Alternator. Alternator, I mean. Yeah. yeah. That's goodness. I take that apart and get the copper out of it. Copper. Especially once I get my shed. I'll be able to bring this stuff in and have it be able to work, you know. Right now, I've been working out in my yard. And that's not that easy. You have a sorting table and everything. Yes, yeah, sorting table where I can take stuff apart. And then I'll have my barrel set up all against the side of the wall Light and sort it. Right. You put uh, coils in yes, the other. Of oh, course. Cool. Won't that be the baddest thing ever? Yes, it would. I mean, anything. Look at there, that's a fan motor. I take them apart too. Oh. I know, right? Look at that heavy steel. I'm not giving them my heavy steel, friend. There's no way I'm giving my heavy steel to them. They won't pay me for it. Unfortunately. <laughs> right? You know, they don't pay me what it's worth. I might even take them tires off. Yeah, that's heavy steel. I might even take them wheels off of that thing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just not giving it away. Not going to give it away. I almost gave away that motor right there. I should go in the back of my truck. I know there's some copper in there. I'll go straight to my house. There's about 18 pounds oh, that's... here, maybe more. God. Oh my God, look yeah, at that. Look. look at that. Oh my God! <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh man, scrap when Grandpa's feeling his age. I'm a, I'm a young, I'm a young 60 though. I'm a young 60. I'm a young 60. <laughs> Thank goodness. The good Lord has blessed me to be able to, I hope I can do this until I'm 80. Really, I do. If I can do this till I'm 80, I'll be when happy. you're 80, you're going to be the pointer. Yeah, you do. Here, go do that. I hope I am, buddy. I hope I am. <laughs> Cause I don't want to die anytime soon. I can tell you that. And that whole back of that axle right there is all aluminum. I see that. Trust me, I see that. Oh man, yes sir. I brought in 500 pounds of batteries the other day. Really? Yeah, 500 pounds. One guy gave them to me. Every one of them. You know what happened? He was getting ready to go on vacation. He had a big RV sitting right. out right next to his house, Bowling Springs. Really? He's getting ready to go on vacation. His RV had been parked there for about a, I don't know, since the last vacation, right? Right. Squirrels, something got in there and chewed the damn wires. Oh, he, listen, wow. he went out there, he's getting ready to go, so he wanted to make sure everything's going good. He started up his RV, walked in the house. His oh. wife came to the door and the damn thing was on fire. His whole RV was on that fire. That was Norm. You know him? I know him, he was my neighbor. I used to live directly next door to him. Oh my God. That was Norm and- He burned um, his house and everything. Burned his whole, it, start, it started on the RV. Yes. And it caught over to the garage. Yes, the garage. And went over, yep. I got video of that house and that, that was job. on Twin Lakes Drive. Yes. I was, I was on the- Yes. I, I lived exactly next door before we moved here. Oh my word, dude. And, well, uh, it burnt. <laughs> oh, it burnt quick. It burnt. He said that that uh, siding on that, that trailer once that once that uh fiberglass started burning it was over right couldn't do nothing he had fire extinguishers tried to put it out yeah he impossible how heavy is this thing it's heavy no, maybe not. oh that ain't that heavy look at that scrap old grandpa look at me look at me look, look, at, me. look at that buddy you can't keep a good man down holy smoke that's a whole engine block Look at that. Oh, yeah. Get in there and make sure the door will close. Look at that. Hoo wee. My grandpa. grandpa. Ain't no joke, buddy. That's a nice piece there. I got a whole bunch of lawnmower tires. Uh oh. 
Hey -ya! Everybody, that's the end. I'm signing off with. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you if you subscribe, and if you don't, then you don't. You don't have, have, you don't have to subscribe. I uh, appreciate it if you'd like hit that like button. But if you don't, you don't have to hit that like button. I just appreciate it if you did. And YouTube would probably share my video out more if you did. So when you watch a video, help the guy out. Hit that like button so YouTube knows that you liked it. Because if you liked it, they'll share it with somebody else. And that's what YouTube's all about, is making videos for other people to see. So uh, appreciate you. And I'm going to sign off with what I always sign off with. Do what you love and love what you do. Always be kind to others. I appreciate you and thank you for spending part of your day with me. Till next time, high five. I'll see you on the other side.